All right, so this video is uh, your curb and gutter video. And um, if you're not familiar with what curb and guttery is, um, it's, it's basically a concrete uh, section that's typically around parking lots and subdivision roads and, and that kind of thing. But it's pretty much designed to uh, help escort rainwater and stormwater um, you know, down into a stormwater uh, drain. And so uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to show just a quick video where I uh, stepped outside and kind of looked at some curb and gutter and what it actually looks like and then we'll talk about it a little bit more um, after this video. Okay, so we're looking at some curb and gutter here and we're outside uh, in, in front of the college actually and um, you can see our, our building up there. But we have uh, curb and gutter that runs all along our parking lots and uh, some roadways and subdivisions and that kind of thing, but uh, curb and gutter is, is typically concrete um, and uh, You'll see how it, it, it always slopes and you, I guess if you get down here close to it You can see where it slopes from the asphalt all the way down into the little the, the curve part here and then that of course will slope and go usually towards uh, a storm drain and so you can see the the storm drain here and it's fed uh, from the curb and gutter that, that just kind of goes all the way up and around uh, the parking lot here, okay? And so um, we're going to learn to estimate this, and, and I've got a drawing that I'll show. It's, you'll probably see here in just a little bit. Uh, and it shows the, the actual dimensions of a, of a typical curb and gutter. Um, this curb and gutter uh, was actually used uh, or installed with uh, formwork, but um, there are curb and gutter machines that are used as well. And uh, I'll show a video of that and, and then put that in here. But uh, the, the curb and gutter machine uh, actually is like, uh, you know, if you think about the uh, old Play-Doh things when you're little, you put the, you know, smash the Play-Doh in the, in the plastic device and you kind of push the handle through and it squirts out whatever form uh, that was, it was designed for. And so that's kind of the same thing with curb and gutter. Um, it, it, it starts off like that and um, if, if you look at the curb and gutter itself uh, down here, this is always the, the, the six inch part. So this is six inches here and then it, it, it slopes down the side, uh, usually about another six inches. Um, and then this part here, of course, uh, is the 18 inch part that's uh, usually typically 16 to 18 inches. But it's all designed so that water can, can slope down the parking lot and get into this curb and gutter, not wash up over the side and then typically go on down and, and into the um, into the storm drain. So I just kind of wanted to bring you outside. Uh, I'm not sure if you all were familiar with what curb and gutter is, but uh, next time you see it, you'll know. Uh, and then of course it goes below the surface of the asphalt here. It's it's a good six, six inches thick as well uh, on that part, so. I'm hoping that uh, kind of explained a little bit more about what curb and gutter is, and I'm sure you have all seen it before. Um, and so uh, I want to show a few pictures here just of, of what curb and gutter, uh, a curb and gutter machine does. Um, we talked about that in the video uh, when I was outside. A lot of uh, companies now will use a curb and gutter machine as it is a lot easier. Um, and you can see in these pictures where uh, and it's just a, a form and a concrete truck backs up to this machine, dumps concrete in a hopper at the very top and then it uh, the concrete goes down through and, and just basically pushes it out through a form and creates the actual uh, shape of curb and gutter. Now the concrete is a is a you know a thicker mix so that it doesn't you know just run all over the place and uh, you know I made reference in the video to uh, when you're younger playing with play-doh and you would have these little toys where you you put the play-doh in, in the little thing and, and push the arm through and it would kind of squirt out hair or whatever you know shape that was there and so really it's the same principle um, and then once it comes out uh, you know sometimes there's some minor finishing that has to be done but the curb and gutter machine is so much easier than uh, using formwork and um, you know there for a while you couldn't make close radius turns with form with a formwork machine or a uh, curb and gutter machine and so you'd actually actually have to do it um, by hand by using uh, build forms uh, to make that happen. But uh, technology and, and stuff has come a little way, so now you can turn uh, closer radius with that 
and uh, anyway, it works pretty good. So I want to show you, uh, this is a typical uh, drawing of a uh, curb and gutter uh, with the dimensions on it. And you'll see the, the earth around it with the, you know, the concrete in the middle. And it's just a cut section of it. So it's basically like, you know, I'm taking a big chainsaw or demo saw and, and cutting right down through the middle of this curb and gutter and then kind of flipping it sideways and looking at it. So this is a side profile of uh, a typical curb and gutter detail and uh, and that's what I have on the board here as well and what I would like to do is just kind of go through the estimating process and once we you know once I've gone through this this will be something that you have um, and you you know really shouldn't have to do anymore as far as that goes but I just want to show you what we're looking for is the square footage uh, of this detail okay so this shape detail and so what we want to do is, is find the area pretty much of it okay and so to find the area of this how would we do it the easiest way is to just kind of break this thing down into two two shapes okay so we'll call this shape number one and we'll call this shape number two and so number one uh, we're just going to kind of come over here and say number one and we know that from here to here it says it's 18 inches so I'm going to say 18 inches and then I'm going to multiply it by the distance from here to here right just all I'm doing is length times height on here to find uh, my area so this right here is six so six inches so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to use this calculator um, and this is obviously a little bit different probably than the one you have but it is a construction master pro uh, it's an older version but I just want to show you uh, once you know we turn it on um, we're going to say uh, 18 inches, okay, make sure you click on the inch there where it says inches, times 6 inches gives me, and you'll see the answer there, it says 108 square inches, okay. Well, I want to convert that to, to feet, so on your calculator, you should be able to just push the feet button. On this one, I actually have to push the convert button, so I'm going to hit convert feet, and now that has... Um, went to, uh, let's see, what is that, 0.75 uh, square feet. So you see how it went back and forth there. It was 108 square inches, and I converted it to feet to give me 0.75 square feet, okay? So there's there's my answer for that, uh, for that shape number one, which is, uh, this right here is 0.75 square feet, okay? So now I'm gonna go to shape number two, and that says it's six inches from here to here, right? So I'm going to say six inches times the height of this, which is 12. 12 inches. Now, there's a curve uh, on the top here, and then there's a curve down here in the bottom. Pretty much those kind of even out. And so as far as uh, rough figuring this, it's okay not to worry about that. So uh, here again, I want to get the calculator out, and we're going to say six inches times 12 inches equals uh, and we got 72 square inches and I want to again convert that to square feet and so I hit convert feet and that gives me 0 0.5 square feet okay so I can come over here if I wanted to and just put point if I can write 0 0.5 square feet for that area so uh, all I want to do is, is pretty much add these two together. So 0.75 plus 0.5 gives me 1.25 square feet. Okay, you all good with that? So I'm going to put a double line because that's my answer. Um, and so pretty much the area for this whole thing right here is 1.25 square feet. Okay, so... Uh, my next step is you know, once I've figured square footage, then I know uh, what that is, and now I can add linear feet to this. Okay, so I'd have to take a uh, kind of a you know like a parking lot shape and do that. And so um, let's look at that. Okay, so the, with this drawing here, um, we have our uh, our curb and gutter that we've already figured, which gives me 1.25 square feet. Remember, that's the cut section of this. And so this curb and gutter will go all the way around this little parking lot here, okay? Um, and so we need to find linear foot or linear feet of this because 
again, this is a cross section area of the curb and gutter, right? If I was to come in here and just, you know, cut this in half, flip it sideways, that's what I would see. So we have the square footage, now we need linear footage. So we gotta find the, uh, the perimeter of this. And so um, the perimeter is basically just walking around the outside of this building. And you've seen these uh, little wheels that uh, sometimes grading contractors or paving contractors, they'll have a little wheel with a, you know, a measuring feet on it and they'll get out and they'll measure stuff. Um, uh, and so they'll, basically that's the same thing. You're taking that wheel and you're just going all the way around the perimeter of this little uh, structure here. It's not a structure, sorry, parking lot. So I want to find the perimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start adding stuff. So I'm going to say 60 feet, which is right here. And I'm just kind of, kind of, I'm going to go around counterclockwise, but 60 feet plus 28 feet plus now from here to here, that's 14 feet. All right. So I come up 28, I come over 14 and I'm going to come up 12 feet. And then I'm going to add, uh, I'm right here, so 32 feet plus, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm coming back down here, so 12 feet and then over 14 feet plus um, coming down 28 feet. And now we're just going to um, calculate that real quick and so I'm going to um, put that in here and I'm just going to say, uh, let's see, clear it out, I'm going to say 60 feet plus 28 feet plus 14 feet plus 12 feet plus 32 feet plus 12 feet plus 14 feet and then plus 28 feet and that gives me a total of 200 feet and that is a, uh, a pretty much a linear uh, footage on that and so that works out uh, pretty nice because it's an even number. Um, <clears throat> now, one thing you may want to do, and some of you guys may have figured this out, but if I look at this, that that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of numbers across here, and I think you would agree with that. And the more numbers you have, sometimes the more messed up you get with math. So, if we can agree on this, uh, and I just kinda, I'll show you that I want to try to use a different color here to show you, but if if I take this wall right here and bump it up to here right and then I take this wall and I bump it out to here and do the same thing on this side um, I might be able to change uh, the amount of numbers here for this okay so what I can do is I can say okay 28 feet plus 12 feet right so 28 feet plus 12 feet Oop. gives me 40 feet, right? I'm sure you can do that in your head, but I just wanted to show you on the calculator. But 28 plus 12 gives me, this is 40 feet this way, right? And then we know it's 60 feet this way. So really, couldn't I say 60 feet plus 40 feet plus 60 feet plus 40 feet, that's a four. Um, I'm pretty sure that gives me 200 as well. So you can kind of see there, there's really a couple of different ways of, uh, of doing that and I just kind of wanted to show you that. It's good to get used to maybe going all the way around so you, that you don't uh, miss a wall or something, but just, just to let you know you can like push that wall up, push that wall over. It's the same surface area, okay? Same length for that. So anyway, we got 200 feet for our linear footage. So now um, that's, that's kind of step one there with that. Uh, so now what I want to do, and I'll put a one here and a two here, sometimes it's easier to have the steps. So then I'm going to say, okay, I got 200 feet and I want to multiply it by 1.25 square feet. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that. Uh, with this calculator, I can't just hit it, but with your calculator, if you hit feet twice, like if you put 1.25 and go feet feet it will change it to square feet um, but with mine it won't do that um, and so uh, I'm gonna have to kind of enter it in different I think I should be able to say square feet like that uh, and actually put that in there um, and so I've got 1.25 square feet and then I'm going to multiply it by 200 feet and it should give me 
uh, it says 250 cubic feet okay so um, I'm not going to write that down because I don't want cubic feet uh, remember concrete is sold by the cubic yard so I'm going to hit uh, on my calculator I'm going to hit convert to yards and that will uh, punch out there for 9.25 cubic yard okay so that is actually going to be my answer on there it's like 9.259259 repeating um, you know I'm just going to leave it there I guess I could round this up to 9.26 uh, you know just to make it a little bit closer there but um, so that's my cubic yards for concrete that I'm going to need for this curb and gutter. Um, now, uh, you know, the only other thing is if I want to do some waste for that, um, my my third step here would be my waste. Okay, so with concrete, you do have waste. Um, if it's a curb and gutter machine, or if you're doing it by hand, you're going to spill some outside the form. Uh, you may have to add some here or there. I mean, there's just there's going to be some waste. Uh, the ground is not perfectly flat. Uh, there's going to be little holes and divots and that kind of thing and so then you may use more concrete in some areas and then again you may use less in some areas but anyway the, the whole thing here is typically we add waste for that okay so uh, to figure waste I'm going to say 9.26 and I'm going to multiply it by a 10% waste factor and I'm going to say 1.10 okay and I'll explain why here in a minute uh, so I'm going to get my calculator and I'm going to say 9.26 times 1.10 for a 10% waste and it gives me 10.1 on that. 10 point, well it's 1.8 so I'm just going to say 10.2 cubic yards. Okay, so that's about how much I would need. Um, now what I want to do over here in this little corner is I want to talk about that waste what I was just talking about. Okay, so if I'm uh, I'm just going to write waste right here so you know what I'm doing. And the reason I used uh, 1.10, okay, um, say I, I do this again and I say 9.26 times 10%, okay. Now, if I do that on my calculator, if I say 9.26 uh, times 10%, that gives me 0.926, okay. So then, my step two is I have to take 9.26 plus 0.926. So then I'll just keep that in my calculator. I'll say plus 9.26 gives me 10.18, which is 10.2. Okay. Or <laughs> I can do a little bit easier with that. All right. And I can say, okay, 9.26 times 1.10. And in one step, just like I did here, I get the answer. Okay, so it's the same thing. It's just this is a two-step process. So if it's 10%, uh, it's going to be 1.10. Okay, if uh, you know if it's 5% or something like that, if it's 5%, then that's the same thing as saying 1.05. Um, if it's you know 40%, right, then it's the same thing as saying 1.40 okay so that kind of gives you just a, a little bit of an idea of, of how I do percentages I think there's probably another way or two out there but uh, I just wanted to show you that so that you could see so uh, on your homework you will have to figure curb and gutter um, you can use this right here this little equation that we've already kind of done the work I just want you to, to know and see where I came up with 1.25 square feet um, and so that's my curb and gutter. I did the perimeter, added it all up, and uh, I came up with 10.2 cubic yards of concrete. Okay, and that was including the waste factor. All right, so that's the curb and gutter video, and my next one will be figuring out uh, GAB and asphalt. And we'll uh, go on to that one here in just a little bit. But if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, have fun doing the homework and uh, make sure to show all your work, very similar to what I just did. And again, you'll take a picture with a fast scanner, or if you have a scanner, you can use that. Um, but make sure that you put your name on top of the paper, um, because I've got about 24 of you guys in this class. And if I don't, uh, when I download it to my computer, I, I need to have a name attached to that file. Okay. So when you uh, when you download it, or, or before you take the picture, 
just you know go up to the top and, and you know and write your name somewhere all right uh, John Doe okay um, and then put maybe what assignment number it is um, assignment number or whatever to uh, curve and gutter or something like that if I can spell okay so just do something like that uh, so that when you take a picture that I see that somewhere on that page uh, so I know where to identify it and, and hopefully know that it's you so please make sure you do that okay thanks so much